Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the wild weather of Tennessee. I mean, BYT. <laughs> uh, chilly out. Uh, just getting started for the day. So, I will see what I can get into. And we will holler at you in a bit. Alright, everybody. I got Dustin here helping me today. Keeping me company, because I still don't have a radio. And, uh... This is, what our, this is where we're at so far. I'm going to feed these wires through the hole. I'm using the appropriate size, which is important when you're doing electrical work. It might be a different color, but I'm doing one wire at a time. So one end is going to be the right color. The other end is going to be the right color. The wire in between will be different, only because my spool doesn't have all the appropriate colors. So... I'm going to cut, I'm going to feed this through first to have this end over here, then I will cut this wire, bring this end that needs to be plugged in over here, plug it in, connect it, trim back where I need to be, and then reconnect it. And I will be heat shrinking all the connections with, you know, good old heat shrink. Gotta love Harbor Freight. No affiliation. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I just use a lot of their stuff. See you in a bit. Good morning, everyone. Today's video is an extension of yesterday's video. Uh, I got to find a wire loom to run under the dashboard. The hole in the top where the wires come out for the door switch leads directly into the engine compartment so I don't want to leave any open wires just you know in a group or a bundle just hanging around in the engine compartment so I want them protected in a coating even if I have to drill a new hole in the side where it comes out underneath the dashboard just for that loom that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to try to find some wire loom here in the garage to protect those wires to the door switch coming back into the uh, dashboard see you in a bit well I found some loom this all came off that AC I don't know it's a unit outside coil or whatever they call it so I have plenty I just need to cut myself a piece I need to get under here drill a new hole for that size of a loom so I can feed these wires in cut connect and I want to mark every one of these as to where they go I'll put you know sequential of numbers on them just so I don't lose track of where exactly they go on the switch because obviously I'm not gonna be able to you know I don't want that much wire coming out and plugging back in and then have to worry about tying it up under here which I mean I could it wouldn't really be that big of a deal um, but I think it's easier just a number, put a number, put a number, 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 run them out, plug them in, put the switch in, and everything protected inside a wire loom. So, that's what I'm going to work on. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, so here's what we got. We got the loom here and coming out under here. I will feed my wires down through the loom and out this other end. One at a time. I already have two wires made. I have this brown one, which 
still has no end on it. I have a red one, which has the end on it, which is going to go to this one. So I have one unplugged, goes to the brown wire, I have the red wire, which will be go to this one. So I will cut, hook up, feed this through, and I am leaving these a little extra, a little long, so when I get them out from back here, I'll put the ends on them. I'll do these two first. And then I'll unplug these three. And I have them numbered. It's number five. Number five. So when I cut this, hook the new wire to it, run it through, unplug it from here, hook it up down here, number five wire will match and I'll know where to plug it in um, this is, is getting a new end because the brown wire here I left the connectors on because this is a two into one two wires into one plug so I plugged a single wire in which is gonna be my new plug down here All the rest of them will keep their existing plugs on them. So under here I will have this one loose wire, which is a ground. I've tested it and tested it, and no matter which way the switches are in, it's always zero power. Um, that for the stereo purposes, if we need to, we can run the wire through the loom out here. Even for the stereo purposes of running the speaker wires from here to under the dashboard, they can be fed through this loom I just put in. And I'm still debating on that guy right there. Um, I'm thinking about mounting them over here, running the wires down this pillar into that opening, which is going to feed right directly into my fuse block, which I'll have to go outside and I'll have to look. Uh, and see what the, where the openings are. Uh, I've got to have my CB. You know, when you have more than one vehicle, you got to be able to communicate with the vehicles around you. You know, and you know, traffic-wise, trucks and everybody out there. You know, you got to be able to communicate and listen to what they got going on. Um, you never know when you need help or when somebody else is going to need help. Communication is key. And the cool thing is, that has the external speaker um, that connects on the back. So, maybe up in one of these front horns or doors, I can put a bullhorn. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, but that, that, that kind of thing, I'll just have to wait and see what I find. Um, I've only ever had a, a outdoor speaker on a CB in one vehicle, and it was pretty fun. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Talk to you in a bit. All right, here's what we got so far. Everything heat shrunk. I'm going to tuck those back down through that hole. I'm going to lift the engine bay and reach up there and I guide them down through. I got them coming down, up and around, all plugged in, back to the switch. I'm going to glue that label right there back on this spot above it um, and that will be where my door open close is now and I know it's gonna clear off this whole area here for the stereo then I'm gonna work on where I'm putting the CB at but right now I've lost one of my lock nuts for the switch which I have plenty more you know I got the other two switches that came off the box they all have the, the lock nut on them so I can always find one there but I just don't like things laying around loose on the floor so see you in a minute there we have it nice clean spot for the stereo door switch it works
problem is I lost my step light down there. It was working, no, it's not working. But everything else is working, so... I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it alone for now, and I'll research it later. Next, I'm working on the CB antenna. That, unfortunately, is aluminum. So, I'm gonna have to take it apart, see what's behind it, take this one off, check the bracket, and see what I can come up with. Cause I can also use this over here for a GoPro mount when I get cameras to put on the front and have it out in front of the bus, one facing out, one facing back. Um, even side mirror, you know, security cameras can be out there looking down the bus. So, you know, for driving purposes. Even though, you know, I'm going to leave most of the windows, I might have them tinted a bit, but... You know, you still want to you still want to be safe. So that's what I'm working on next. See you in a minute. All right, so here's what I come up with. Got my wire for my CB coming out this hole. There's a big gap right there where I can tuck in extra wire. I will silicone this and shove it back in the hole. I'll squirt silicone in the hole. But I'm putting a mounting plate right here, mounted to the side of the bus. And the antenna will run up the back side of the mirror upwards. Now I've already turned this on and checked it out and I'm picking up traffic a long ways away which is great. Um, the CB itself can be mounted to the back side of the console and then the mic will be mounted to the switchboard. So win-win but here's the mounting plate we're just letting it dry coating it with a rust barrier there will be six mounting holes and I will put sealant, sealant on each one of these mounting holes as I put a screw through it um, that's the bottom I still have to wait for this to dry flip it over and paint the top where the magnet's gonna sit but that will be mounted to the side of the bus antenna magnet right on top of it silicone the wires feed them back into the hole silicone some more and uh, hopefully that works and keeps the water out so here we go on the road now well, here's where we're at at the moment I'm getting uh, alternator noise in that so I got to switch the power source I had an air leak in the front from the actuator that ran the stop sign. The hose, you know, I left the valve, I left the air valve in place. I just turned it down to where there was zero PSI coming out of it. Um, you know, it's a regulator valve for air pressure. Uh, the hose was leaking going into it. That was dropping my main tank air. So I am now letting the tanks build up, waiting for that. I'm going to shut it off, then we'll go back outside and see if it's still leaking. I'll show you which one it is. Yep, I can still hear it. Right here. And I had to twist it because I had to cut the hose off. But right there is, is causing the leak. So, that little sucker right there, I'm going to probably have to cap it and just get rid of that actuator. But capping that hose, I'm going to have to find out where it goes. Because it goes under here, under here, and it disappears back in here, along with this regulator. It runs to something. So I had that one there, and then that one there ran the stop sign. That hose, I have to get the, that problem fixed. Because when that hose breaks, and I mean, when it's not connected to the regulator, it drops my main tank down rapidly. So, these videos are also projects list to help me. Um, on. I'll go back and watch my own videos and 
see the stuff I need to do. I'm going to measure the letters that were up there. So when I get something made to go up there, um, they'll be the appropriate size. And I'm also going to measure those crown letters right there. And when I have them remade, they can make them to the right size. So, see you in a bit. Well, there you have it. It's installed. If I break down, it's on the battery. Okay, works pretty good. So if I break down, I still have communications. Even if I don't have cell service, I will always have service. I will always be able to communicate and find help. So earlier I was picking up somebody from South Carolina, all the way in Tennessee. So. There you go. Got her done. So, got that done. Got my switch done. I started to clean this off. It's really good. Soap, water, dry it nice. Get my little my little sticker. Put some new glue on the back of it and adhere it to above my switch. So, you know, just like just like the headlights just like the left wiper the wiper you know, a lot of these I'll, I'll be removing a lot of these that see this wiper right wiper left I, I, I think I just peel them off optional equipment I don't know what it's for but I will find a use for it all you know the domes and domer strobe I'll, I'll be removing that one um, heated mirrors that is cool I do have heated mirrors on this thing so you turn the key on lights up so that is nice um, you know of course the auxiliary fans the fan auxiliary right I will remove so I don't have one way over there. I just have these two, this one and that one. So the sticker and the label will be removed for, for the ones that I don't need. The heaters that work, you know, the mid, whatever, defrost works. The power vent, that switch I have to still test for power. And of course I have my AC fan motor. One, two. So I got a high and a low on it and a temperature control. So, and of course, master disconnect. I do have one. It's a twist knob, master disconnect. And uh, I may bring it in here and, and install it. So, once all the wiring is done, I'll button this back up. Like I said, once I get them sealed, get whatever antennas going in there for the stereo. Seal up the other one, seal up the other four holes that were drill holes. You know, I'll be insulating this when I put this panel back up. When I'm done in here, I'll be stuffing this with insulation. Um, speaker box, I will, it has insulation in it, but not much. So I'll be, seal, you know, insulating that. I did put that screw back in over there. It did not tighten. Um, I think the holes wobbled out, but I did get it in as far as I could, which it was flush. It's flush, and then I, but I put sealing on it before I screwed it in. But after it was, everything's done, that will be insulated as well before I put the panel back on, which is one of these panels down there. So I just have to take that box off, the cover off, because there's a drain, green drain tube in that side that's disconnected I think it's probably plugged it needs to be snaked um, but I don't I don't want the air conditioner condensation draining inside the bus so I have to fix that drain uh, let's see what else 
I mean, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I did do a temporary, uh, well, it's a trial. We'll call it a trial. On this window here, in front of the wheel well, I did a trial with some silicone sealant around this window on the outside and around the frame on the outside. We got rain coming next week and we got close to six inches coming so it's really gonna put a test. Um, before I'm done today I'm gonna take more of it because you know you open the tube once you open the tube without sealing it it goes to crap. But I'm gonna just try sealing this area here on both sides because I did get water inside here but this is not sealed none of this is sealed it's all open even even this where it's pinched in the back I'll show you where it's pinched in the back here this is open so anything that gets in this and runs down was well, gonna run down and drip out these holes or continue to run down so well, my thoughts are with that window is this here fits underneath this so if the windows leaking and water's getting underneath the window it's gonna get onto this run down the back side of it down to here where these two meet this piece and this piece and this is why things happening over by the wheel well and then it's running down the inside because it's that open corner right there this here seems to be where all the water is coming from it's coming through here getting on the floor and then running that way so I do believe that was all from this window and you know with the angle of the bus it could be that window as well so I'm doing a trial run you can see the silicone line there on the outside um, just a trial run to see how well this stuff does like I said I'm gonna try it back here on this edge on the opposite side and see if it water stays out because the drain was working good um, you can see there's a little bit of water right there and that's all from evaporation and draining from this water that got into that channel um, but the water that got into the drain it, 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 it ran off in this besides that my sandpaper I left outside on the back deck back there it got filled with water so it's sitting inside the drain drying um, so I'm gonna give that a whirl see how it does because even this here with this being open water can get back here get behind this run down behind that and continue to run down and drip um, water does you know of course it comes in here and drips down but when I'm all done, when this panel's put back in place, sealed down through here, this will be sealed and closed off as well. It'll it'll be welded and probably uh, that bondo glass will be it'll be put in here. And the same way with this, I, I still have to put a piece in here attaching to over here before I bondo glass because you know it's body work this is all part of the body now and this is all going to be attached so even if it's just sanded and welded and not bondo glassed all this here will be filled with bondo glass all these seams and all these welds will be covered with bondo glass before this gets painted so it'll be a nice round you know, this, this will be, this will probably have a thin layer of Bondo glass on it, but you know, I will feather it up to this point to where it flows down to this, this edge here. And even all of this stuff over here will flow to this edge here. And I'll do, we'll do that all the way down until I run out of room. Ah. And then of course, you know, this here are, is all going to be Bondo glassed. Um, I, I will have this all filled in. This will all be bondo glass, so it'll be a smooth transition all the way around. 
and all the way down. You know, these little spots here will be Bondo glassed. This, of course, right here will not. You know, this will all be sealed. These will all be painted. So, if water does get in here on the inside, I'm going to have to... If water does get in here on the inside, I may I may put a secondary panel in here and straight to straight to the top of this panel. Just so if water does hit this, it runs straight down and in. Um, and if I do that, I will put I will put thin insulation in here, just just for sound deadening. It's, it obviously won't function is nothing because it'll be out in the garage but if i tarp this if i put a tarp along here like a canvas style that doubles as a canopy you know and then you can just roll it up and button it in place when you need when you don't need it or drop it straight down as a garage door so i can actually be in this area here and work open the door and allow the heat from in there to come in the garage um that may be an option. I may, you know, if these are insulated, because I am putting the insulation back in here and stuffing it down in there, it's the same as that has before this all goes back on. So I may put this back on and then bring a piece of sheet metal from the top here down and screw it to here and it'll have this lip so any water will just shed straight down to here run it'll hit the, the curve in the you know because it'll all be sealed so it'll hit the curve and it'll go in down and drip into the drain it'll hit that back wall and just straight down um, so that's my hopes that is my hopes all right um, I was going to do something else. When I figure it out, I will be back. Well, I didn't find anything else to get into uh, today, so I hope you like today's content. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, and whatever you're doing out there, you be safe, you have yourselves a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.